The Sequelab ergonomic recliner add-on is designed to seamlessly integrate with your existing chair. Following a simple design philosophy that extends to everything that we make, Sequelab products are designed to support you across multiple seating postures and various activities at your desk. The Sequelab design philosophy for sitting specifically is the next posture is the best posture. We don't believe having one prescribed posture is actually good for you. Moving around is actually much more important to keep your joints fluid. We work very closely with our ergonomics advisory board. This defined a lot of the ways we approached the recliner. So it's all backed by science. That's why the recliner, we made sure that it's very, very easy for you to adjust the angle, to retract it and to extend it all from a sitting position. It's been a two year project. We tested everything on the market and nothing really hit the mark at all. Competitors were using the easiest way, telescopic tubes. Funnily enough, that was actually our first prototype to test the idea. And we instantly saw a lot of problems with that design. You can only go out at 190 degree angle, which is actually not ergonomic for your body. It wasn't really comfortable and it wasn't easy to retract. We didn't want to have a product where it would just be out or in. We wanted everything in between as well. So a lot of the ones available out there were just very flimsy. None of the cushions were particularly comfortable, so we spent a lot of time engineering ours to make sure that it was sturdy and provided you good support. During the development process, we ended up locking down on the key mechanisms that make up the recliner. The critical mechanism is the six bar linkage that allows the pillow to travel the way it does. But the main problem with that one is maximizing the amount of pillow we can have under the chair and getting it as far out as possible so that it gives you like the full range of support. But then there are also, how do you lock that at different angles along the way? So using a gas spring, I had to think about how to kick it back because the gas spring doesn't actually lock it in both uh, directions very well. So we had to make another mechanism that clicks it back in place when you pull it all the way in. And also, of course, how it attaches to the chair. We designed the recliner after the chair. We didn't have the opportunity to design in mounting points or anything. We had to kind of like work with what we had underneath the chair with the earlier prototypes. You had to remove the tilt, but we thought that was just too much of a hassle. So we came up with a screwless mechanism where you can just slot it onto the chair and lock it in place in 10 seconds. And you could do it with minimal technical skill. The gas piston and how we've done it is definitely more complicated, but we thought it was very, very important to have this infinite adjustment, the ability and the freedom to move and sit how you want. So every time we come up with a new prototype, we have a concept in mind of how the user would interact with the product. After we've built the prototype, we do multiple user tests to make sure that uh, the customers do interact with the product in the way that we had intended. And a lot of the times we're wrong. Sometimes we have happy accidents, but it's a really good way to reconfirm the way we're thinking. In terms of testing, we definitely go above and beyond. We had to come up with our own testing requirements to make sure that this product is safe for you. It's basically built off the BIFMA standards and extended. So to make sure that the recliner was stable and reliable, we came up with a, a lot of testing jigs that would try to make it in the most unstable load. We didn't want to develop a product that would alienate a large majority or even a small majority of our customers. We made sure that we designed the product to be backwards compatible with the Titan Evo, obviously, as well as the classics. The difficulty with a product like this is that we're trying to cram a lot of different functions into a, a very small package that's defined by how much space we can use underneath the chair. There's levers in the way. We've also got our tilt mechanism. So we had to design around all of that to make sure everything fit. With those constraints, it made it quite interesting and a challenge, but this final solution really hit the mark for the user experience. I've heard so many stories from our customers about back pain and postural issues caused by badly designed, unsupportive chairs. When you spend up to 12 hours a day sitting, your chair becomes more than just a piece of furniture. It's an investment in your health and well-being. That's why we obsess over how you sit, so we can support you in every way at your desk across varying positions and activities. So go ahead, kick your feet up with the Secret Lab Ergonomic Recliner add-on.